Okay, so let's have a look at the BS 300E. 300mm throat with 190mm depth of cut. The machine comes as standard with the mitre fence and the rip fence. The stand, which is shown here with the optional wheel kit. Heavy duty grey cast iron wheel the tensioning knob at the top and the indicator is shown at the rear. We have a limit switch on the door and we've got a rack and pinion rise and fall. The machine comes with a one horsepower motor and a no volt release switch. So that's the machine as standard out of the box but before we attempt any cutting there's just a few checks that you've got to do. We need to check that the blade is sitting square to the table and also square at the back for when we're doing a tenon cuts. We need to check that the fence is sitting square to the table but also running parallel with the table and we can easily check this by using the mitre fence slot that's machined in there as your datum and you can alter to suit. One of the most important ones that seems to be forgotten, we've got to make sure that the blade is running parallel with all these settings that we've done. This is easily achieved. Just put a straight edge or a datum across the width of the blade. Again, easier with a wider blade to do this. And then we can offer the rip fence up to that. Check that it's sitting square and that the timbers are going to run through parallel. One of the things about this machine is it can take from a quarter up to a 5 8 blade. Now the blade's supported or helped along its way with the guide system. We've got three guides above and also three guides below. And these are easily adjustable to suit the different types of blades that we do. So now we've got the machine set up accurately and we know what size it can cut, let's have a look at the cuts that are easily achievable with a BS300E. We're just going to cross cut a bit of maple but you've got a one horsepower motor so just watch these that it goes through. So we're just going to cut a veneer on this little bit of silver birch. Okay, so we're just going to rip across a piece of yellow pine. Um, obviously it's a lot harder going with the grain on this one than it is doing a cross cut. But again, with a one horsepower motor you can see how easily it can go through. Okay, we've got a three inch piece of oak with a 386 blade. As long as you take your time and let the blade do the cutting, it should cut with this no problem. Mm -hmm. 